In this video, I will tell you if the Anycubic Ultra Base is worth your money or not, and we're starting right now. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I would like to help you being more successful with 3D printing. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. In my last video about the 24 volt upgrade and also how to make things stick better on glass, I was talking about the Anycubic Ultra Base. This is my review after around 50 hours of printing. Let's start with the pros. Pro number one. The installation on the a 8 was easy because the Ultra Base uses the exact same bolt positions for the wire axis mounts and the same bolt size of M3. Pro number two. The Ultra Base can be converted from 12 volts to 24 volts, which is not an issue at all and took around 15 minutes of soldering. Pro number three. The glass plate is easy to mount with the provided self-adhesion tape. Pro number four. The glass surface has a dotted black coating, which seems quite resistant to scratches, which is supposed to make things stick better and give them a nice matte finish. Pro number five. The price of the combination of base, heating plate and glass plate is reasonable compared to other options. Pro number six. The cables are soldered directly to the PCB, so there is no issues with connectors failing or overheating. Pro number seven. Although it has the coated surface, it's really easy to clean with a glass scraper without destroying the coating. Pro number 8. It covers the whole print area without the need of paper clips holding the glass plate, so you can actually use more of the printing area compared to a normal glass plate that has to be fixed with some clips. And now let's have a look at the cons of the Anycubic Archer Base. Con number 1. The promised increase of stickiness from the coating is actually not that much. I still had issues printing PLA on the Ultra Base, so I finally started using my own glue solution to improve the adhesion. Check out my video about how to make homemade glue that works perfectly with glass from ingredients you will have already in your kitchen. Con number two. The glass bed will be hard if not impossible to remove from the base plate if you ever want because of the self adhesion tape. I have doubts the glass plate would survive trying to tear things apart or the aluminium base plate might also start bending. Con number three. The cables provided with the Ultra Base could be thicker in my opinion and also don't come with cable shoes. You definitely need to add those to improve safety at the connecting end. Con number four. The temperature sensor connector does not come with a GST connector to fit the ANET boards connectors. You will have to crimp a new GST connector to the temperature sensor cables to make it work with the ANET A8. And now a conclusion. All I can say um, that I'm pretty happy with the upgrade, but I mainly did it because of the 24 volt upgrade and the larger usable print area. If you just would like to print on a glass surface, you probably are also fine just getting a glass plate and fix it to the printer using paper clips. Then definitely check out my video on how to print on glass using PVA glued made from flour and sugar. Link is in the description. If you think this was helpful, like and subscribe. And if you really want to support me creating new content for you, then definitely check out my Patreon page so you can make an impact. See you next time.